All right, so a few days ago, uh, each of you were called in uh, because you happened to be in the region uh, to a location that is actually out near Moscow, and you received a communique that contains this uh, message that I'm about to show to you. The, the message indicates that uh, there's a pair of Russian psychics that uh, uh, have been helping Delphi out and around the Moscow area that have now become very skittish and they want to uh, basically uh, be kind of brought in by Delphi uh, into an area where they're in less uh, risk. Uh, and uh, the, the situation is that uh, there are people that uh, feel that they're being threatened right now by a techno demon who uh, is just fascinated with this idea of merging a cold tech with psionic powers and huh. has sent a bunch of agents out, a bunch of his agents, the techno demons agents out to try to capture them uh, because one of these two, maybe both of them are, are fairly powerful psychics themselves. The, the group's called the Bleak Menagerie, but they don't know a whole lot more about it than that. And the person that you're trying to extract, one of the people whose name is Anika, has also indicated that there's some information that the Delphi, a Delphi Council, Council scouting mission had obtained recently regarding the wastelands that she's got. She's got access to it, and uh, she might be able to help you get access to that information as well. So priority one, they're telling you, is get Anika out along with her ally. Uh, but if you're able to get the information for Delphi as well, that would be helpful. And, uh, of course, watch out for these, uh, this, whatever it is, this called the bleak menagerie. You want to watch out for that along the way. So you now find yourself kind of rolling along through the wasteland, uh, that is this entire area, the blasted lands, uh, that surrounds much of Russia, and uh, you're, you're riding in a vehicle and uh, just kind of getting to know each other for the first time to converse, and so let's, let's go around uh, and just everybody describe uh, what your character looks like and maybe what kind of things you're interested in talking about as you approach the area where you're supposed to make contact with Anika and her companion. Who's first? Will I go first? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Fyodor Molotov looks like his picture, or like the scrapper archetype. He's basically a, um, a cult tech Frankenstein. He's this giant dude with a shaved head and scars all over. Big cyber arm and a bigger hammer. I am hammer, you are nail. Ha ha ha. Next. I am Vladimir. I have my uh, partner, Annika. This is my AK-47, best rifle in world. And I have been to Psy Institute, and I like to cause people pain and take their, uh, <laughs> and take their memories. I also uh, have bits, I also have bits of magic to protect from demons. Okay, that will be useful. Uh, Vladelena was a promising Russian figure skater when the bridges dropped. The techno demons cap captured and enthralled her and implanted um, her with occult tech wings, and then they would use her to appear in the skies as an angel to lure people out uh, in the hope of some sort of religious salvation. Of course, that was when the demons would move in and, and like round everybody up and thrall them. So in one of these missions, a core earth priest managed to free her. And as she transformed, she fought off the, uh, the collection teams. Uh, and now she is a half occult machine, half human. Uh, and she works for the Delphi Council. And she seems to be interested in uh, matters of faith, though she also seems not to understand them much at all.
All right, I think we still have Max and Crimson and Talmar. Uh, Crimson, do you want to go next? Yeah, sure. Uh, Crimson Lotus is a young elf girl, originally abducted from Azel and viciously tortured and experimented on in the Nile Empire before she transformed to the Nile Empire. Now she's still an elf teenage girl, which dresses in red robes and wears a Kitsune mask and goes by the name of Crimson Lotus. She wears a long sword strapped to her back like other people do with the two-handed sword because she's very small and lithe, but she seems to be a spellcaster. She doesn't talk that much at first, but once we get to know her, she opens up. What cousin? Uh, she's from the Nile. Nile and All those, from the sounds of it, had a journey to get there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Talmar sits hunched somewhere in the back of the vehicle, looking very uncomfortable. Underneath the voluminous hooded cloak, you can see an Adinos. Um, quite muscular, quiet, large. Um, is wearing living armor, carrying a living shield, has a number of weapons at his side, doesn't look all that comfortable in the cold and um, is muttering prayers to himself quite constantly as well. All right, I think that leaves Max now. And Matt looks kind of over out of place in this collection of people. He's just a wiry, middle aged American guy. You no, know, Scott. You no, know, fairly casual clothing, probably a heavy jacket because it's cold here. Um, but he's very friendly and um, hearing other people's stories, he, he clearly is saddened to hear of the trials everyone else has had to endure. And you know, tries to offer quiet words of encouragement to, to everyone that... Hopefully we can make things better. Your dog claps him on the back hard. It hurts. He says, yeah. don't you worry, small man. We take care of you. <laughs> I'm sure that you will. <laughs> Life is pain. Talma looks up at that and shakes his head. Obviously, it's not a philosophy he agrees with. <laughs> Worship is pain. Worship is life. Worship is everything. And so, uh, go ahead. Perhaps simply by living, we are performing acts of worship. Helping yes. each other to defend. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Shortest book ever. Complete <laughs> Russian comedy. So you all have been driving now for several hours, sort of avoiding radiation hot spots, uh, moving through this super deserted zone. You, you can find a little bit of wildlife, but not much else. And you eventually pull up outside of an area that it, now it's just barely recognizable, but it is a mixed core earth and Tharkold zone that was once home to the Moscow Zoo, very famous, world famous zoo. And you can see sort of in the middle of the zoo, there's this big uh, spiky tower that's, that's grown up that at one time was a uh, kind of a burgeoning Tharkold power plant, but then there, you had this nuclear detonation and everything went to pot and it just stopped growing at that point. So you've got this crazy mixture of this frozen emerging Tharkold tech uh, sort of thrusting its way up through and slowly taking over the zoo, but it's frozen in time. So you see features of core earth and you see features of Tharkold emerging, and it's just all kind of static uh, right there as you uh, begin to enter into the zoo. Now, your instructions are, once you arrive there, 
to walk out into an open area and to wave a purple flag, which one of you has brought along with you, so that won't be a problem having that. And then supposedly at that point, in some way or another, Anika is going to contact you. So I'll let you describe for me what you want to do next. Who has the flag? Talmar does not have the flag. Okay. But that doesn't stop him jumping out the back of the VTOL and immediately snuffling around the floor, around everything and towards where we're heading. <laughs> Someone has the flag. I can go take it and go and wave it. You can have it. Before you go into the open, let us first check the perimeter. It's a good idea. By all means. All right, does somebody want to make a fine test? We'll just do a standard test. Uh, 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 fine of six, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm trying it just to try it. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Well, we're off to a good start. Find is universal. So uh, being from the Nile Empire, this is this uh, is going to generate a, a disconnect. Okay. So uh, what you'll need to do now is make a reality test and in a, I actually off hand don't know in a mixed zone what the difficulty is going to be. It's plus like four. It's, it's going to be a 14. So you pass it. No problem. And, and manage to reconnect without any difficulty. Uh, I guess the, the landscape is just a little bit of disorienting for you and you kind of lose yourself for a second. Reconnecting. Uh, but but Vladina feels that Vladalina feels like uh, there are not at least any widespread threats that are out there. Um, she can't guarantee that there's nothing, but she feels pretty confident that it, there's nothing immediately dangerous that you're facing if you venture your way in. Okay. As soon as she says that, Fyodor just starts walking in with his hammer on his shoulder, whistling. I'll have the flag so that none of these people have to carry it. <laughs> and Last the guy will go with walking behind. Who is it that has the flag? Uh, Max. Max, okay. So let's position everybody out somewhere in the middle here. All right. I'm up in front. Uh, let's zoom out. Yeah, you vision. Whoops. Whoa, all these moving things. Too many, Tom Mars. <laughs> um, whereabouts should we be like just in the center yeah just put yourselves there in the center what general direction are we headed um, down it, this is just kind of you found an open area that mm -hmm. just looks like a good area to sort of wave the flag around where if there was somebody okay. hiding somewhere they could see it sounds good and that's what this is who are we missing on the map here? Uh, I do not appear to be on the map. Who's I? Come here. There we go. Yeah, everybody's on the map now. So is anybody waving the flag at this point? Yes, I will. I'll go out and so you, you hold raise the, the flag over my head and wave vigorously. The, the, you hold the flag up and there's this swift, uh, sort of vigorous cold breeze that it kind of flaps in as you wave it around. And uh, let's see here. We've got how many different telepaths do we have here? Vladimir is. Okay. Uh, Vladimir uh, 
you have got a distinct sense that someone is using a mind sense power on you right now. They're not trying to do anything hostile or anything like that. They're just trying to get a feel for who you are and what you're about. All right, I want to try and just send out a telepath uh, message that says, Annika, we are here. Okay. So, uh, did you, I don't know if you need to make a check for that or not. You'll need to tell me. Um, yeah, let's try it. I've got read mind and cloud mind, so... I'm a bit more of a spy, so I think it'll be a little bit unskilled, but it'll be okay. in there. Uh, well, but, and of course, really... if if you sense that your your surface thoughts are being uh, detected, which you do, I suppose all you really need to do is just think that thought. We're here, right? Otherwise, he'd need exactly. the telepathic power. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you would need that power. All right, I'm um, going to roll my telepath to see what happens. Okay. I've got a 12. Okay. Uh, well, that can help a little. You don't really have the ability to do telepathy because that's not one of your powers, but that, that certainly uh, maybe it boosts the signal at least for, for his mind sense. And a, yeah, few exactly. minutes, a, a few minutes later, for sure, a um, you see a young woman kind of come stepping out from behind the rubble, and she's standing away from you at a distance, just uh, looking at you. Uh, I want to raise a hand, <clears throat> leave my we weapon slung down, and take a couple steps forward toward her. Okay. She looks at you a little uncertainly, um, takes a step back, is not quite sure what to do, uh, and then uh, says just barely loud enough for you to hear she speaks the word. She says, you are the ones from the Delphi Council? Da. It's Annika, yes. And she looks really uncertain. I don't know how big uh, Fyodor is. I'm assuming he's a big guy. Um, oh, yeah, but she's looking at, especially uncertain at the Fjordor and at this side of Talmor, which is something she's never seen before and not real. She seems unsure about herself right now. Fjordor waves his free hand and goes, hello, nice lady. Talmor licks his lips and continues snuffling on the ground, looking every bit the savage. Not one iota of civilization comes off of him. So, I want to sort of walk out in front of all the big scary people. Okay. And just sort of give a wry smile and say, yeah, they sent some heavies to make sure you're safe. But after a few hours in the van with them, I'll tell you they're not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Try to... She she takes a step towards you and she says, "Can you promise me that my friend and I can both keep our freedom if we go with you?" Absolutely. Yes. Your your Delphi Council will not try to study me like they did at the institute. Oh no, Delphi Council, very nice people. I was at the Institute. I know what they do. Delphi Council is not that. You were at Institute, she says. Da, I escaped as well. She says, uh, tell me more. How long have you been with Delphi? A uh, few years. And she's still a little uncertain, but she says, and they treat you well? They treat everyone very well. We are resisting the humans. Hearing the thing about treatment, Tama reaches into a pouch, thrusts out a hand, and goes, 
badge. Treat well. He's holding out the identity from the steampunk convention. The I'm sorry, the what? We were the badge at a, we um, got at the steampunk convention. It's um, from an adventure last month. Okay. All right. It's identity, apparently. It's proof of who he is. Okay. So she takes a couple of steps back just because of the tone. It just seems so hostile and scary to her that she's not too sure about it. And uh, there's a lot of thoughts that are going on in Talmar's mind that aren't quite as familiar to her. Uh, no, I mean, the, the major thought at the moment is he's trying to tell this tree to blossom. <laughs> <laughs> the tree that he's standing beside yep all right is he does he have some skill that could actually accomplish that or some of the shape pumped okay go right ahead then don't think it's that difficult hang on yeah it's only the end of eight all right, so yeah, so suddenly the plant begins to blossom, and she just kind of looks at it in wonder, and her eyes shifting back and forth between Talmar and the tree. He's happy. He smiles. It's lots of teeth. It's being a lizard. There's not much you can do about that. <laughs> so she's fascinated by it enough to kind of take another step toward it, and in fact, at about that same moment, from uh, behind the rocks that are behind you, uh, you see coming out a German shepherd mm. that just kind of looks at you with these dark soulful eyes that the eyes almost seem human to you. Uh, I'm going to attempt to read the German shepherd's mind. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you what he's thinking. He's thinking, give me a bone. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's so cute. Well, that clearly didn't work. <laughs> yeah, let's see. What, what, if you're trying what, to pull a skill without ads, that tends to be what happens. Uh, uh, what What did you just try to roll? Uh, telepathy. I've got ads in it. Okay, hang on a second. Let's see if we've got your... Uh, this is... Is this... This is Vladimir, right? So yep. I'm still trying to sort those out. Okay, let's see your telepathy. You've got telekinesis. Read mine, maybe what you're thinking, right? Yeah, that's under the telepathy skill. Yeah, Yeah, that's okay. the thing is telepathy is a skill and a psychic power. Here's okay. some giving things the same name. Yeah, so telepathy should be working for you. I don't know why it's not. That, But that was what you just tried to roll, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I just rolled it off your sheet and it worked for me for some reason. Let me try it again, just see what happens. Yep. There, there you it go. worked. Okay. So we'll count your test, uh, which uh, will be more than enough. You can sense a sophisticated human mind at work within this that is equally fascinated with the tree as Anika is. Well, this sounds like some other power I don't know about, but could be that other person that's along. Um, this is her companion. She gestures, Anika gestures at him now and says, this is my friend Gregor. And, and Gregor barks in a very friendly manner. Well, I'm close by. Can I try and pet the dog? Yes, you can. <laughs> All right. I will try and, uh, you know, reach the back of my hand out like he's a normal dog and see if he's up for being petted. Okay. And, uh, and sure enough, you were successful. Uh, the dog kind of pants at you a little bit and barks. But still, there's something about those eyes that tells you this is a very intelligent creature. Oh, they're putting people's brains in dogs. 
institute a very bad place. It's probably not the first time Talmar's met a beast that's got a higher mind attribute than he has, so he's probably <laughs> fine with it. All right, so Anika, she steps another step closer to you and she says, um, she says, we will go with you if you can assure me that it's safe. We are in Tarakol. It's not safe. It's not safe, but we take you someplace safe. <laughs> All right. So let's have, um, let's have, uh, who was the last one speaking? That was Vladimir, right? Yeah. Um, let's have Vladimir make a persuasion test. Um, it, you can be assisted uh, by up to two or three other people in the test if you want to to enlist it. Uh, I'm a cyborg, so I have. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I've got a walking. Uh, I don't have the skill, but I've got eight in charisma. Your cyborgs are probably not the people you want uh, <laughs> persuading anybody. Unless like it's like right. something, feeling the gist of the scene going that way, Tama will quickly utter a blessing of charisma. <laughs> What about yeah. Max? Does Max have a good persuasion? I'm okay. Um, have plus two to everyone can have plus two to charisma for the next minute or so. Uh, Woohoo! <laughs> How do we With put my that on uh, You can do it as an effect, but it's probably just best to remember it at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Vladimir right. oh. insist by saying uh, every day we must fight for our freedom. The Delphi Council helps us do that. And that'll be her. So that's a persuasion. This is so not a good idea. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is actually going to reduce as the, if, if you're assisting right now and you're trying to actively assist then you're actually going to reduce the total skill total by one. I think that didn't actually include his charisma on that because it's just a, a bonus of one. Try rolling persuasion again. Uh, no, it's no, just, that is her, her, her persuasion skill. Uh, yeah, but it's only counting the skill value, not the attribute. Uh, that's why I was saying try rolling that persuasion test again. Let's see what happens. I thought Vladimir was doing the um, persuading. <laughs> he is. I'm just trying to yeah. help. Yeah, she's, she's oh, assisting. Oh, it's the assist roll. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not including your attribute. So just add one to your attribute, and then that will give you your skill total. Don't know why it's doing that. Well, no. So the the oh, attribute hang on is, a sec. I see what's my, happening here. You've got it. Somehow you've got a negative four for your ads instead of a four. Right. That's because I'm a cyborg. All right. Let's let's do, well, we'll have one more do over on that instead well, of this hat. How do you get the skill is to expand? Uh, and then there's a plus from the the blast. So there's about a plus two. Yeah, there's a plus two. Okay. Yeah. So that's a nine. That still doesn't doesn't quite get you to the point where you can help any, but a, a ten would. Oh, well, I'm going to try two because I'm also a cyborg. <laughs> Drop four off of that. <laughs> I got a three. Uh, <laughs> I am best persuader in world. <laughs> All right, I I'm going to try uh, and back this up a little bit and sh say to her, "Look, I am like you. I am with Delphi Council, and I'm just going to levitate a nearby rock up by me just to show them that I've sci I've got psi powers like they do." Okay. Hopefully this will uh, aid in the persuasion. Okay. All right, so we'll give Vlad a plus one on his test. So he's got a plus two charisma boost from Talmar, and uh, then he, he'll get another plus one. So we'll give him a total of adjustment of plus three. All right, I'm rolling persuasion. Okay, so you've got an 11. That is a success. I will tell you that 
uh, a good success could benefit you even more. You've successfully persuaded her to go with you at this point. Um, I, she, she's better, looking at you. She's looking at you to give you an idea about what's going on. She's looking at you and saying, um, "Then we should probably go." She said, "But what about the Delphi information that I have?" Oh, we should get that if we can. Um, so if we're, you have we're a... trying to get to a good, I have a supporter I can throw, which will get us most of the way there. Yes, you're at an 11 right now. So we need, what do we need? A I can switch you a willpower card out of hand if you want. We're not in rounds, so you can trade any card. Yes. So I just need you to switch. If you want to do that, I can add, give you a willpower to give you another three on top of the supporter. I could add another with another That'll get us there. So that's going to Vladimir, right? Yeah, so I will ask her, do you have the scouting information with you? Is it here? Okay, so we've got the supporter card played now. Wait, I got the willpower. Um, it needs to go to. Uh, it was try. The willpower was going to who? Which uh, uh, which username was, was going to Vladimir? Which is, uh, Colgrim. No, I'm sorry, it's not. It's uh. Yeah, sorry, my bad. I did that. <laughs> who? Uh, what username is playing Vlad Vladimir? Uh, Darth Cap and Morgan. Oh, there we Darth go. Cap, okay. You should have it now. And you need to give me a card out of your hand. That's Prince Earwig, Tama. All right. Uh, does that do it? Yeah, I can get it to him. So what? What have we played so far? We played a supporter and a willpower. Yep. Okay, and then. I've already discarded one supporter. This is the second supporter I've gotten. Yeah, that's going into my hand, I think. Okay, all right. Yeah. And then I'm supposed to play this willpower. Okay. Yeah, I'll go ahead and discard that for you. All right, so she says yes. She says there are tunnels that go under the zoo. I've hidden them in the tunnels but we have to hurry. Very well, let us go. All right. So that is going to conclude scene one. Uh, you can now uh, discard down and draw back up to four. And if you've got any trading that you want to do, uh, go right ahead on that as well. All right, I have four cards total. If, if you have four cards total right now in your hand, you have the option to discard one of those cards and then draw another destiny card. Can, can I play my attune before? Yes, oh. you, can all, you can play cards but also before the scene ends if you want to. Okay, so how do I do that? Just Attuned, okay. So go ahead and put that out on the desk. I'll discard it for you. And then uh, you can draw a Cosm card, either a Core Earth or a Tharkold card. So, people with glory cards, um, I know one of you's already got a drama card, or one of you's already got a hero card. I've got a drama card now. Uh, Fyodor has a glory, a drama, and a hero. Okay, so you're set. Yep. Just need enough. Um, any other glory holders want a drama card? Uh, I think I'm going to hang on to this glory for now. Oh, right. I mean, I mean, like, if you have a glory, you should hold on to it. And I, because you want to pair a glory with a hero and a drama if you can. So I'm trying to give away my drama card to someone who has a glory card for whatever random other stuff you have. Um, 
I don't know enough of what I'm doing yet to know whether that's a good idea. I could offer you either leadership or a flurry for the drama. drama. Uh, does someone say they've got a leadership? Yep. Yeah, I'd love to trade that for a drama. Which one are you? Uh, I'm Z Warren. And I'm 12. Uh, let's see here. That. Everything okay? It seems awful quiet. I, yeah, I, stuff. I'm done. I've got nothing else to do. Yeah, I have. I was okay. just. I was watching cursors move and assuming that when the cursors stopped moving, that's probably when everybody's <laughs> got their hands set. That okay. might not be the best way to do it, but that's what I was doing. All right. So, right, is okay. everybody everybody comfortable with their hands now? Yes. All yes. Right. All right. So let's move over to the next scene then. Yodor is happy Frankenstein cyborg. <laughs> now I'm going to move everybody. I'm going to put everybody in this room that's down in the lower left corner of this map. I'll go ahead and put Anika okay. and Gregor there just so you'll have an idea about where I'd like to put you. It's a big map. Big map. Yeah. And then it, what you do is you just drag uh, your character over onto the map and, and drop it there uh, nearby. I dragged my character from the actors tab. Nothing happened. Okay. Which is it? Max? Is that the one? Fyodor. Uh, okay. I'll go ahead and get you out there then. I actually, you've got two more copies of you. You may not be able to see them down there, but I, I deleted them. Those are probably the ones I dragged. <laughs> <laughs> All I see is blackness and cursors moving around. Oh, okay. Right. I, okay, I got to change the setting on this map. Give me just a second. I should have bought myself in the middle, middle, but I'm not sure if that was the right place. Darkness oh, penalties are intense here. Yeah. I forgot I had money. I could have bought a hover lamp All for right, my last let's mission. See here. So they have all of these tools that they use uh, in D and D for um, so that people can see things. And are uh, so uh, uh, Theodore, do, are you able to see what's? Are you able to see the map? I am able to see a square room with four doorways going out. Okay. And then there's a bunch of dim stuff beyond okay. that. What, what about Vladimir? But it is visible. Uh, yes, I can see that same room. Um, she also has the, the, the call tech eyes that, that do away with six levels of darkness. Okay. Max, how about you? Yep, the room just appeared for me. Okay, good. And then uh, who else? Who do we not have out there still? Uh, Vladimir, I don't see yet. Oh, no, no. But I can see the map. Okay, can everyone see the map now? Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. It looks like we're all there too. Okay, all right. 
and it actually you should be able to see the entire map. I see a bunch of uh, shaded out dark areas that I cannot see into. Okay. Yeah, some of you have. Let, let me get your the dynamic uh, lighting on. Yeah, it's 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 uh, stuff that's used for for D and D. Yeah, yeah. like dungeon crawling that we don't really need for something like this. Uh, but, so I just have to get all that adjusted on the tokens. <clears throat> all right. I think you can set global illumination on the map as well, but that doesn't change line of sight still. So I, I have set global illumination, but you also have to give uh, you have to give uh, you have to give vision to all the tokens. So okay, so I think we're set now. This is going to be a dramatic scene. You, uh, Anika has led you across uh, the, the zoo, kind of over onto the other side, and then down into this series of very narrow, very dark tunnels. You're able to see, you've got enough light sources with you and things that you're able to see for a few feet all around you. But it's a very cramped space and very uncomfortable. And as you begin to make your way through these tunnels where she's told you she's got the information hidden in here, you hear suddenly some noise that's up above you and the clattering of what sound like some hoofs and paws. And, 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 uh, and immediately Gregor sort of glances around and growls and Anika says, that is the hissing labyrinth. We have to hurry. What, what is the hissing labyrinth? Tell me quickly. Uh, it, it is a group of animals that have been modified by a Coltec, and some of them have human minds implanted in them. And they're controlled by a very bad man. His name is Trekker. If you see Trekker, you should run. She says. Or we will kill him. Show us the way. And I think Theodore should, the big cyborg, should probably go first. Okay. Yeah, no. I can are light the, a flare if that will help. Are the ceilings high in here? They are about seven to eight feet. Okay. Oh. Uh, well, I don't like to see in the dark, so <laughs> you might want her to go first. Yeah. Talmar's just finished chewing on some moss, and his eyes have just started glowing. Oh, cool. Or Talmar to go first. <laughs> <laughs> Should I not light flare? So, yeah, so th this map, we're, we're not going to sort of explore across the map like you n normally would, because uh, what the adventure calls for here is a long form dramatic skill resolution and uh, we'll we'll use this for a battle map uh, at various points if and when we need to but for now what i'm going to draw is uh the 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 there's a four-step process and i'm going to draw the first card in that process which is going to involve step a and step a is going to be a hard stealth check which everyone has to pass. This is going to be a DN14 stealth check as these creatures begin to spread out around the labyrinth and uh, you try to, to avoid them. Okay. Any bonus for the favored tracking slash um, hunter's ear because Talmar can't be surprised? Uh, yes, we'll, we'll, we'll give everyone a plus two bonus uh, because Talmar oh. is leading them. So you're going to have a DN14, but you'll get a plus two bonus. So also, uh, I'll tell people that there are much worse places to be and to cheer up. And I will play There's Always Hope. Or try okay. to anyway. Can you show us that one? Did it go out? Okay. Yes, that's, that's it. Does everybody see it on oh. the desktop there? So all of our skill tests during this challenge are favored. I think it's so oh, nice. 
and I'll kick off with a dex bless as well, just to make sure. By the way, this won't take anything above your armor maximum, so if you are wearing armor, take that into account. What was that about armor? I'm going to do a bless on dex, but whatever it adds, remember that it's not going to take you above your armor maximum. Oh, max. okay. That's fine. That's a plus one for the next minute. Oh no, it's total of one. I still get a, ten, a six on that. Okay, tell my disconnect. Bucker. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> oh no. I've got a second chance, please. I've got a second chance. Let's trade. Oh, I just dropped it on the table, unfortunately. To use to uh, roll twenty. Do you did that second chance go anywhere? I'm looking for the second chance and I don't see it. I uh, I, oh, there it is. I got it. I'm sorry, Brett. Okay, so I'll discard and, that for you and you can roll again. And then mm -hmm. I'm sure to tell Mar. So if you could if you could give me a card, it's Colgrim of Lanolina. Is that mishap on the reality test you were trying to reconnect? That was the reality test. He was, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, that, is a, that is a reconnect there. So no one will get the dex bonus, obviously. But um, Talmar isn't starting to transform into who knows what, so I guess you're fortunate. Okay, sure that that so. wouldn't be a one case disconnect, would it? It would just be a miss out. Oh, even worse. There we go. go. And then nobody favorite. Oh, oh well. <laughs> At least I don't this... disconnect. Boy, this just seems super I... unlikely to me. Yeah. <laughs> I mishapped on that stealth test, so I like slammed my hammer into the ground. Rolling yeah, through th tunnels is fun. I think <laughs> we're. Uh, yeah, and and um, I I hate to complicate things further here, but uh, this is a critical problem stage right now. Great. Uh, I, I'm not me. sure. I'm not sure there's any way to dig your way out of the sale the failed test, but. Uh, everybody is uh, now. Everybody, remember you are um, you are favored on this. Uh, can you just remind me what that means? Everyone gets a reroll, but you have to get your second result. Yeah, everybody gets a reroll, and that that probably affects several of these mishaps. Get a reroll favored on a mishap? I, I think nope. so. Nope. Let me double check if. I roll a one count. Oh, less. Jeez. I don't know. Where would Let's, that be? Yeah, somebody wants to look that up for us to see if you can reroll on a if you're favored on a mishap. That is obviously relevant right now. And then I will play a card. I'm playing this action card. How do I do that? Um, so uh, favored. Go ahead. Uh, that How was do I play? Record. Yeah, I was answering the question about the action card. All you got to do is just declare that you're playing it and discard it. Discard. Okay, I'm playing it and discarding. Okay. Now I'm at 16. And I, I spent a possibility. All right. So page 109, favored skills. Immediately after rolling the first die of a test, assuming it's not a mishap, there you, you may go. discard that result and roll again, but must All accept right. the new result. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, so whoever Fyodor is screwed. <laughs> Talmar spent a possibility to succeed after the favored roll. Yeah. And I double checked, but that's well, still a one case contradiction because Sarkov's spirit is pants. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It is. <laughs> 
All right. Do I need to roll something right now? Um, have you rolled your your uh, stealth check? Yeah, it came out. Um, let me see what it came out to. I got an action total of one. Okay. All right. Uh, so I, I think it's fair to say that you've created a tremendous amount of noise here. Yep. yep. Somehow and several of us managed to bump into each other in as loud and unstealthy a way as possible. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, um, so um, what happens is the as a result of the critical problem, uh, the, the, they just zero on you in, in on you almost immediately. And you discover coming up behind the tunnels behind you. Uh, two, uh, a, a number of creatures that I'm going to begin putting on the map now. Okay, I think my vision might still be limited because I can't see anything apart from fog of war currently. Yeah, I can't yeah, see I'm any saying, of the other uh, people. Just myself. And just one other thing, um, we're in Tharkold now, yeah? Yes. Well, a mixed zone, it's Tharkold pure, yeah? No, no, it's, it's still, it's, it is still a mixed zone, yes. Okay. I'm trying to, to see if I can improve your, your vision here. There we go. I can see us all. And I see two creatures coming into the room. All right, has everybody got better vision now? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. I see, I see three creatures. Yeah, and there's oh, yes, more. There's three. I'm better at smashing creature than sneaking by. Oh, this is not good. Should put myself back where I was. Where was I? I was back. <laughs> yeah, the these just the, the room just suddenly fills with baboons that are just howling at you. And and one of them that's a little bit larger than the other suddenly kind of emerges from uh, inside. It's this one right here that's I'm moving back and forth and uh, uh, Anika just looks at it in alarm and she says Trekker and it just uh, it suddenly howls at you and they all leap out and attack and I'm gonna now activate an encounter And I should be able to add everybody to it. Yep, there we go. So you'll actually be able to keep, we'll be able to keep track of this on the encounter tab. Um, one is checker? The, this one that is closest to uh, Talmar is trekker. Got it, okay. <clears throat> you mean the combat trekker tab? So, so now I'm... Yeah, so now I'm going to draw another drama card. This one is going to be This one is going to be for the first round. This is a dramatic scene you sh and you should be able to see the card. Are, are is your vision limited or are you able to see the whole map? It's limited, but I can see that card. Yeah, I can see the card. Ah, now, nope. yeah. now, now I now can it's... see the whole map. Okay, so here we go. Dramatic scene, the heroes do go first. Okay. And... Scream or attack. Okay. 
<clears throat> uh, did you just ask a question? I'm sorry, I missed that. No, it's just that's what Tom was going to do in round one. He's going to scream a war cry and all out attack tracker. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, first. Uh, question. How high are the ceilings in this room? The, the ceilings are eight feet high. Okay. All right, so I guess uh, we can go ahead then with uh, Talmar's turn then. I was just hoping somebody would do something like taunt first to make him very vulnerable. Oh, but, okay, okay, um, that's fine. I can, I can let loose with an intimidate if you want. Give it a shot. Okay, I'm going to actually intimidate. Is there any way to do like the ping thing from Roll20? There is an, a module that lets you do that, but I don't have that installed. Okay, I'm going to intimidate the three in the corner with Trooper. I'm going to play Neil. Sorry, I did this again. It's the card that um, play at any time uh, for the rest of this scene. Intimidate is favored. Maybe you can scare okay. them off. Sounds good. Okay, so I will step forward um, and just roar at Trekker and the two ghoul baboons behind him. So that's going to be a minus four for the multi-target. Is there a way for me to enter that, or do I just click it and then we'll adjust it? Just roll your, uh, yeah, just roll the test and then we'll adjust it from there. Okay. So there we go. It's so favored. Do I want to re-roll that? What do you think, folks? Yeah, I want to re-roll that. So here we go again. Oh, come on. <laughs> well. I can play a supporter card because it's appropriate because we stood next to one another sure. in a town. I'm not going to blow the critical moment on that roll. <laughs> uh, question. Three supporter. Question. Uh, yeah, is but he's, got a, he's, he's got a minus four because it's a multi attack. So he's at three right now. So the supporter won't get him there. Here, I can here is the possibility. Here's Trekker. And then here's the baboons. I'm going to spend a possibility on that. Okay. Um, how do you do that? There is the button. No. Okay. Now That's you're in better. Business. Uh, so now you've got a 15 right now after the possibility, which is enough to get a, uh, to get a, get the result on the baboons. It won't be enough to get it on Trekker. And the support to take you up by three. Okay. The supporter card, if that's played, then that gets you, uh, what do you want, vulnerable on all of them? Definitely. You see, there's a little plus three card on your thing that you can use to add the plus three as well if you want to get the total. Oh, that's cute. Up the right. I'll take a supporter. Yeah, I, I, sorry, I dragged the desktop. Okay, so we have vulnerable conditions now for Trekker and for the two baboons up there. Probably not going to get that, so I'll do the all-out attack on Trekker. And I get to draw a card? Yeah, yes, it's uh, you, you can draw a card and then, of course, pull something by marking it. Just mark the card to pull it. Right-click and put mark. Need okay. to add four to that because I didn't put the modifier on because I couldn't find out how to. Oh wait, uh, is Trekker an ord by any chance? Trekker is not an ord. Sorry. Figured as much. No worries. So that's a twenty-two versus Trekker. I'm assuming he's not armed. Yeah. Uh, no, he's. This will be unarmed for him. So that's a fifteen. So that's a good result. So you're going to do your base damage on your weapon. Plus uh, whatever you get on OBD. Yeah, you, and by the way, you, if you roll that off of the weapon, then it'll show the damage on the in the chat. Yeah, I realize I should have done that. Um, what do I need to get an outstanding off of that? Right now, he he is. Yeah, he is. You can see here he's got a, a 15 unarmed, and you're at 22. So uh, to get an outstanding, you'd need another three. Think of a possibility it help there. Did 
led to it anyway. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, that does it for sure. So now we need two BD, and you're gonna. I think you're gonna have to go ahead and make a weapon roll just to bring up the the menu that gives you the BD. I can do it from the weapon. I think do it separately. So I've got um, eleven to begin with. Okay. So that's a seventeen and an eighteen. So you have a favorite yep. weapon? Unfortunately, not yet. Okay, so that's 18 damage against his toughness of 14 is going to... No, I'm to... It, unfortunately, so just the shock. What's that? Just two shock, I think. Yeah, yes, that's correct, yes. Okay. He has taken two shock. Uh, Final Lantern will leap at these two baboons and attack them both. Okay. So I click the weapon attack here. So, all right. So they're, they're melee or unarmed is what, eight? Is that right? That is, uh, their unarmed is 11. 11, okay. So I'm going to spend a possibility. Right. Great. So now, what was it, 11 you said? Uh, yeah. Sorry. 11. All right, so that is two two bonus dice of damage. Is that right? Uh, uh, so the 11, you got a 23. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So that was what? Did it add two? No. It Do I click three. it? Yeah, you just rolled one BD and you've already got 17 damage. That's going to be enough to take them both out. All right. So then um, what she'll do is she'll say, um, Anika, quick, down this corridor, get behind me. I'll protect you. Okay. So immediately uh, Anika is going to run back behind her. But Gregor's kind of staying out there like he, he wants to fight. Our... All of these baboons sort of demonically intelligent looking, or do I think any of them might just be maltreated baboons? They they look a little. They don't look as smart as Gregor, but they look like they're pretty sharp. They're they're, they're but the, in the end they have a mind of five. So for whatever that is worth. Well, it's worth a try. I'm going to try and commune with the baboons. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, where is you, my you roll well enough, uh, and if they really count as animals, then do what you want. Ooh. All right. I'm I'm gonna I'm looking up commune right now. <laughs> um. So I will, since I'm right there and it seems super useful, I will possibility to tip myself over and do an outstanding success. Did you find it? I'm looking for it right now. It's in the core rules miracles. Yeah. It affects all animals of the same type. For five minutes. Okay, I. Um, so, boy, this is a this is a tough call because you can tell that they're all they're all tied in telepathically to Trekker, who, who, which is also an animal. Um, but you, you've managed to uh, sort of confuse them enough where if you want to run away right now, you can. That doesn't mean they're not going to be back later, 
but if you wanted to run away right now, you would be able to. I have an idea of something I'd like to do. So uh, Trekker is reality rated, right? Yes. Okay, I have the supremacy card. And do I have a uh, clear shot at him with the AK? Yes, you do. All right, let's kill that guy. He, he does have five possibilities. We deal with him here now. Four wounds as well. But, I, but what I will do is if you decide not to run, they will lose the current turn as if they were... Uh, uh, Kelly now. Yeah. Let's take and, that. So do I get the sense that like if I'm... Like I'm effectively like contesting with Trekker for control of these baboons. That's that. Yeah, I mean, in different in a different way, you are. But but you're also and, contesting with Trekker for control of Trekker because he's got the same issue. Um. But it's definitely like like I think if we can get Trekker down, I can yeah. pacify the baboons. That's a distinct possibility. So. I will let people know that. Why did I get moved? Okay, so should I still shoot Trekker? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I am going to, what do I roll first? Fire combat? See if yeah, you're going to so hit a friendly, check for so friendly fire first. You've got, yeah, you're, you're going to have a risk because you've got... Uh, You've got Talmar engaged with Trekker. You've got a risk of hitting Talmar. I don't think it was Fjordor's intention to get that close to him. I might be wrong, but even though oh, he's no, next he to meant, him. Oh, no, he meant to get into the thick okay. of it. Okay, all right, so you're at risk of hitting. He can take it. You're at risk of hitting one of those two, depending on where no, you roll no, otter even. No. Okay, um... But there's only a risk of hitting one of them, correct? Yeah, it's uh, basically 50%. You can manipulate it a little bit by playing possibilities and cards. Uh, but it's, I forget whether it's odd or even that uh, misses the it's target. Odd is bad. Odd, okay. But uh, yeah, if you, if you have an odd roll result when you're finished with your roll, then you're going to hit one of those two. Are you going to hit somebody randomly? I think is what it amounts. Yeah, you, you then choose randomly from amongst all the available targets, including the originally intended one. Yeah. Okay, and what if I? Okay, let's do it and see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> all right. So. Okay. We've got a... Nine action total on your initial test. Uh, Trekker's Trekker's dodge is sixteen. Your die total okay. is a nine, anyhow. So, so you'd have to be spending a possibility to hit, and that also now gives you another fifty percent chance of not getting a and number. hitting us harder. <laughs> Oh, the default friendly fire rules are so harsh. Okay, so a plus three is not going to do me any good here, is it? No. Uh, he is vulnerable at the moment with a minus two, so he's only a 14 to hit. Um... All right. Can I use telekinesis to try and levitate him? Uh, well, we've got to finish the shot first. You started the fire combat test. Okay. Uh, if if you're if you want to go ahead and uh, you know not add to the shot, we can go ahead and figure out who gets potentially hit. But at at a nine, I don't know what everybody else's dodges are, but. 
Tamar is 10, despite the very vulnerable right. at the moment. My dodge is 8, but I have lots of armor. Okay, so, yeah, I don't have anything that's going to change the shot, aside from, like, doing a complete reroll. You could you could roll a if you rolled for a possibility your your die total might be an even die total. After the possibilities rolled, uh, which would which which would affect whether it, it, one of your uh, allies gets hit. Okay, I'll use a possibility. How do I use a possibility? Click on where it Click says possibility on your test. Uh, yeah, on your chat result there. Okay. All right. So now we have potentially. Yeah. So the good news is you're now hitting him. Uh, potentially, the bad news is that you could hit one of any three targets there. Okay. So. Um. And unless you've got cards, then you're. We got to figure out who gets hit now. Okay, I have an adrenaline that will add three. Okay. Doesn't affect your control, unfortunately. It doesn't affect the dummy, yeah. Yeah. Hero card or drama card, which one you'd be able to roll another opportunity? Just roll one and three. Just roll one and three. All right, here we go. So we're going to be, this is going to be Talmar, uh, Fyodor, or Trekker. One, two, or three. It's, it is Talmar. Do it. So what is the damage on your weapon? Uh, that would be a good success on Talmar. He has a dodge of 10, thanks to the very vulnerable currently. What is the damage rating on the, on the weapon? That's uh, uh, damage rating fourteen. Is fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, so you are going to go ahead and roll one BD with that. Oops. Yeah, there we go. So that gets you to a fi that's fifteen damage against Talmar. Two shock. Okay. Uh oh. So we have now had uh, Fyodor and Vladian and Talmar and Vladimir. We've and Max has gone too. Has, has Max gone? Max did commune with animals. Yeah, that's right. So and then Anika has run, and uh, Gregor is going to leap across the room onto the other side of Trekker, and he's just going to attack. Trekker as well. Oh. And he's able to, uh, not really able to do anything more than just one shock of damage. But that's at least something. And then right now, the baboons are so disoriented from the commune with animals that they're not able to do a whole lot. And so we're going to conclude round one. Crimson may act that. She's taking out her sword and casting a spell. Mage hands. Oh, I'm sorry. Crimson did not go. I'm sorry. Go ahead and go. Yeah. Crimson takes out her long sword and casts a spell. Mage hands and the sword starts hovering near her. It's an outstanding result. So the sword will now do plus two plus the sword's damage as well. Okay. So what is uh what's what's the total damage on that? Nineteen. Nineteen total? Okay, and then it's gee, okay, so you get the sword damage plus you get the spirit bonus? Yes. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah, it's um, as if the spirit twenty five meters in minutes. Okay, let's get, uh, so you're going to get with a 20, with a result of a 20 on that test, 
uh, against. No, it's, it's, it was just the casting of the spell. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, casting no, of the spell against a, a twenty action. So then, what happens next? Next round, she can use the sword to attack. Okay, yes. okay, got it. I could have Thank done you. a multi to attack this turn, but I wanted the maximum damage, so I might okay. be able to uh, track her. Okay, all right, so let's start a new round. Is everybody else's cards keep spontaneously reopening? Uh, uh, yes, why do you? Does everyone know how to put cards in their pool? Yes. Right click and choose mark. Okay. Let's draw for the next round. All right. Uh, my, my supremacy card is supposed to last for the rest of the scene. Yes. Yes, it does. And that uh, is just for you? That's I believe for everybody. so. Uh, okay. okay. I thought we had forever. some other card that we had some other card that was granting favored for the DSR, but I don't know if that's still in effect. Yeah, uh, that's for the scene, and it's intimidate. Uh, I believe it's intimidate favored. only. Okay. It, yeah. Mine was, mine was. There's always hope that was in. Oh, in I should have. I should have used that for the uh, the thing I just did. Now in this round, oh, wait, I did. Uh, at, you are going to get to go first again. Everyone is stymied at the start of the round. Okay. And That's if you way. want to mark your token as stymied so that it automatically counts uh, in your rolls, you can right click on your token and then click on assign status effects, and then you can select stymied from there. Which icon is assign status effects? It's the, the one circle, that's the on the hill. right in the on the middle in the middle on the right. Uh, there we are. Okay. Um Tom, I'm planning to do a frenzied uh whirlwind attack. If I mishap I'm gonna hit you. So if you if you wanna set them up um and then get out of the way, I could do that, or we could do it the other way around and I could try to intimidate them again and you could do something. Um, Tom, I was fine being in the mix. Um, okay, so you you go ahead. If someone has a good card to use, also, I'm going to give someone a master plan this turn. So, if I do anything, I'm going to be um, playing the glory stuff. If I get a good base roll. Yep. So I guess you want me to intimidate. Uh, no, 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 you can go ahead with what you're doing. Talmar doesn't mind being in the mix. It's not a problem. Okay. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to activate the Frenzy Jack so I ignore the multi-target penalties. Uh, with my impact hammer. So I'll just... Uh, how do you roll with that? You don't click on the name. Oh, there's a little die. Do, do you okay, want to so that is a multi-attack on the three there. I think I like that roll. So I think I'm going to play for the critical moment and drop that glory if I can. So, um, so uh, gonna... did, you, did you just roll an impact hammer test? Yeah, I see it now. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, there's, did this? No. So I right click on hero and I choose reveal card. So I'm going to do that for a possibility. Okay. And then it, then you roll the hero card. There you go. Uh, this is not going to turn into a glory. Uh, so I get to uh, discard that. So I'm playing for the critical moment. So these are all going to go. Discard. And then the drama. Reveal. There it is. Click possibility. I can't click the possibility. Oh, there we go. Drama. It's a separate thing. 43. Okay. 43 now. 
and I will spend my plus. Uh, I will spend my card. Right now, said, oh, so close. So close. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, so tw with a 24 action total, d uh, doing 20 damage uh, against, you're, you're attacking Trekker? And the other two, yeah. Oh, you're fact, attacking I'll all three right here. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let's see here, with a 20 damage total, that, that is going to take out both of the baboons. Do I not get um, bonus dice? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Bonus dice that, yeah. Oh yeah, but I mean they're they're already gone. So now you can roll the okay. bonus dice to see what you get on Trekker, which is going to be his unarmed combat How many? So you get one BD. So you're now doing twenty eight damage. Yeah. So uh, that is going to easily uh, do. Uh, what is that going to be? That's going to be two wounds and six shock, as it's. Actually, I think he's two BD because Trekker's vulnerable at the moment. Uh, is that just the first BD? Yeah, you've got another BD then. Yeah. Here you go. Holy crap. Okay. 33 is going to do... And that means all of my cards are gone. Yeah. That's going to do four wounds and... Uh, let's see, what would it be? Eight, ten shock. Four wounds and ten shock. So he's obviously going to try to soak. Let's see what happens on his soap test. Uh, he gets a good result, which is going to get rid of two of those wounds. He's going to go right. and spend a possibility to see if he can improve that. And he does. He gets rid of all the wounds and all the shock after the possibility. He's, he's but that is two possibilities, which is good. Yeah, he spent two possibilities, though, on it. And I shouldn't have gone for the critical moment on that die roll. <laughs> the interface has me confused about the numbers. <laughs> well, you were close, though. You got 53. True, yeah, I, got, I got pretty close. Okay, that and that was uh, Vladimir, right? No, that was... Sorry, I'm still no. trying to figure out who's who. That was Fyodor. That was Fyodor. Okay, got it. All right, who's next? Um, Talmar would just step onto the other side, keeping the big Russian flanked. And just give him the ability to also attack one of the other baboons, just in case. So he's going to do, again, all-out attack. This is an all-out attack, multi-attack, though. So only a plus two. Well, how do you do modifiers? Uh, right now, you just have to add... The, the, there's only a few modifiers it'll calculate. You have to add them by... Just uh, adding them up. Right right yeah. Whatever I get, there's a plus two to add to this. Okay. I didn't roll it from the blooming combat thing again. <laughs> you're just you're doing a multi-target. Yep. Okay. Okay, so you've got a fourteen right now. What else are you targeting? The two Target others. Target. The two others that are near, nearby. Yeah. Okay. Um. So many track I'm in front of them. So yeah, so I'm on a fourteen at the moment, which does hit um tracker, I think. The but it's not doing any bonus damage. Uh you need one more to hit tracker actually. And uh you're you've got at, at fourteen you've got a standard result against the baboons. I'll spend a possibility, might as well. So that's now a 21 with the so plus two. You now have a good result against Trekker, and you have a, a uh, on the Baboons, you've got a outstanding result. Okay, so do you want me to roll the damage separately, or one for both? Um, yeah, I just do one for all of them. Okay, so the first one will be on both, and then we'll add a second one to see what goes on with the Baboon. On the, the Baboons, okay. Oh, nice roll. So 21 to both of them. So I don't think I need to bother rolling the second die. Yeah, so the, the, the baboons are gone. And you're at 21. Only one of them. It was one baboon and tracker, not both. So what, um, 
I'm sorry, you're just going after one baboon, not both of them. Is what you said. Attacking two things, it was only a minus two yeah, penalty with the all out. Okay, yeah, I'll put another one back out there then. So that's 21 damage to Tracker. To us, did did we say you only got a good result on him? Yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah, so, so, one, tw yeah, so 21 right. damage on 12. him is going to be one wound and two shocks. Oh. He's going to go ahead and try to soak that. And he soaks it. What? Question um, for the impact hammer stymie. It says it makes the target stymied if any damage is dealt. Does that mean dealt whether it's soaked or not, or only if it's actually taken? I think if he soaks it, it wouldn't have an effect. Okay. And law of pain, and he kicks off. You actually managed to inflict a wound, yeah? <laughs> uh, he soaked all my damage. Yeah, he soaked all of the all of the damage that came off of the hammer, and then he's just soaked all the damage that came off of Talmar. But he is down to two possibilities. Keep him going. So uh, Vladelina will attempt to uh, intimidate the baboons. Uh, these two um, here. Okay. Uh, by making baboon noises at them. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So, and I believe uh, to to a date. Now, uh, what what was that card that was played? It was, it's either favored or yes, favored. Favored, yeah, you're favored on this test, so you can try again. All right, all right, so here it is. Okay. Oh, gets worse as I go. <laughs> um, all right, that's a failure. Uh, that's it. Though. Right. I'm, I'm going to play. Uh, actually, let's see. Uh, I'm going to play this card. Sorry. Um, reveal card. So I'm going to inspire everybody with my baboon noises. Tom, um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. Those are the uh, best baboon noises I've ever heard. Exactly. <laughs> I'm standing next All to right. a baboon. So. You sound more uh, like a baboon than the baboons sound like baboons. That's true. Well, she she did like she used to come to this uh, zoo, and apparently she remembers the baboon noises from uh, her visits before. Uh, all right. So anybody, everybody gets to take either a possibility, a draw from the deck, or recover three shock. I would like a possibility, please. So you'll have to mark that on your sheets. By the way, do I draw a card after playing for the critical moment, or do I not get to do that? I think I think I don't think you get to I'm pretty sure you don't get to draw cards until you draw up in the next scene. Oh, okay. I'll well, but, the but any that. any action was is um get to a Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. I you do get that draw. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll do that. All right, is it Vladimir Mir's turn now? Yes. All right, rather than shoot my AK in the, I'm gonna aim at these uh, baboons here. So that looks like one of them can get to me. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be shooting at this one and this one. Can you can you point them out again one more time? The... Okay. Yeah. Can it. you see it right here? Yeah. Got it. Yes. Okay. So I think it's fire combat. Yeah, and you can actually roll from your weapon, and then it'll show the damage. But that's. That'll still work. So as things stand right now, you have got a standard result. One more point, you would get a good result. Uh, how much damage are you doing? 
damage on the AK is 14. Okay, so you are also basic, you're, you're two points away, two damage points away from doing a wound and taking them out. Okay, if, if I play my adrenaline card, will that do it? Yes, that'll give you a good result, and then you, you're going to have to roll your BD to see if you can get at least a two on the BD, which is a good chance of that. All right, I'm trying the bonus roll. Right, you just got it, and it was successful. Okay. Cool. By the way, I do have to discard any cards I get during my turn after playing the critical moment, but after I can draw normally. So the one from the thing the other player did, I get to keep. Yeah, that, that makes sense uh, from a timing standpoint. Yeah. All right. Is there anything else I'm allowed to do this turn? Yeah, you have movement that you can do if you want, but if since you only declared the one action, then no. You okay, also do uh, if you stymied at the end of your go as well. Yeah, if you, I don't think he's oh, disengaging, yeah, though. I, I might be wrong, but I don't think he is. Uh, what I was just going to do is move back out of arm's length of those two baboons there. Okay. Yeah, if you were in arm's length before, then you do become uh, very... You'd have to become... Uh, uh, you'd have to become vulnerable. Get behind me and the psychic. I'll protect you, too. <laughs> if he can get behind so, us. Uh, yeah, he's got enough room. He can do that, yeah. Or... Okay, now I can shoot over you. Yeah. Okay. All right, am I illegal and done for now? I believe so, yes. Okay. All right, so we've still got uh, uh, we've got uh, Crimson and we've got uh, Vlad Vladina. And I haven't gone this round yet. Vladalina already went and failed horribly in by intimidating uh, people. Sorry. She sorry. was inspiring them. So then it's Max that hasn't gone yet. Right. Okay. And I think I should continue wrestling with the demon in the mind of this poor baboon. Okay. Um, try to invoke my commune again. What did Crimson Lotus do? Nothing yet. Nothing oh, yet. Okay. Uh, okay. Wasn't your commune already in effect? Yeah, it's, it's for a, five it's minutes. A, it's a five minute. I think you can maintain it with... It doesn't say concentration, but I think you can just maintain it with concentration. If you want. Well, because... Um... He's sort of contesting it. I'm just sort of like throwing like more stuff at it to keep him okay. off balance, if that makes okay. sense. All right. So, yeah. So with this result, yeah, that makes sense. So with this result, they're, they're getting better at controlling themselves now, but they are still going to be stymied this round. Okay. And... The next round, probably not even that. It's that's it's probably not going to work anymore after this. Is what you figure? Cool. Okay. Every little bit helps. Keep them stymied. Yeah, that helps. Crimson is using a flurry card. Ooh. Okay. Multi attack on those two baboons next to me. Okay. So. So they. And, and again, uh, let's see here. They have a uh, combat of 11. And so right now you've got a standard result. What, what you said with 20 damage, correct? Uh, I'm spending a possibility because multi-action penalty is minus four. I'm stymied, so I'm at minus six, which ah. nets me four at... Uh, I guess Simon is already figured in, which is 15. 
So your total is 15? Against me or unarmed, whatever they I, are using. Yes, against that's 15 against 11, so it's going to do its standard damage, which you told me was 19, correct? I'm sorry, I missed what you said. Did you say that was 19? Yes, it is 19. Oh, okay, yeah, so that is going to take both of them out. And and you're still flurry. You've got a flurry, so you've got you can go again. I'm doing the same against the next two baboons in the corner. Okay. And this would net me at an eleven, which is enough to hit them. Uh. Yes, it is. Uh, that is enough to hit them, and if, if that's a 19 damage, then, yeah, that takes them out as well. Damage is spirit, which is 14, plus 2 for the spell, plus 3 for the long sword. Uh, yeah, and, and it's the, you, the base damage was enough. You didn't even need the, the bonus. Yeah. All right, are, are we, we're down to max now, correct? I, I did my thing this round. Okay, all right. Um, I'm going to quick play this leadership. Okay. Give some cards to Theodore to get him. Oh, thank you. All right, so for his turn, uh, Trekker is just kind of looking around at uh, at all the baboons that have fallen now. And he's going to turn and he's going to disengage, which is going to make him very vulnerable. And you've got a, cho you've got a choice at this point. He, he is going to run. Um, you can either try to chase after him and stop him, or you can let him go and let them flee. No, he'll bring friends. But he's headed He's headed toward the exit right now. That's what he does with his turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use telekinesis on him to pull him off the ground and back. <laughs> I'll have to wait and see what happens next. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll have to get to the next round. Okay. And... Oh, wow. Dra dramatic scene, three straight rounds where the heroes go first. This round, you've got inspiration. Oh, so grab back uh, two. Two, uh, two, two oh. shock if you've got them. Yeah, if you've lost them. You can any damage yet. And it's hero's turn. And any more the action for cards. All right, can I levitate him and hold him there for other people to hit? You can attempt to levitate him, yes. Don't forget his conditions will have worn off. Okay. Is that a maneuver that you're doing, or what? I should pull from it's his arm. I think he's using telekinesis to grapple. Ah, okay. Yeah, we'll count it as a grapple versus as unarmed, which is 15. Yeah, so we're ready for that telekinesis test whenever you want to do it. Yeah, disengaging makes you very vulnerable, actually. I think. Uh, all right, I'm, check. I'm doing it right it now. It's horrible if it is. Oh. So you're at a 14 right now. Uh, you don't have any conditions. He's just vulnerable for having disengaged. Uh, so I think he, he loses 
he loses that at the next end of his next turn. That's right, not the not the current he, he turn. He was really very vulnerable, but then at the end of his turn, he went down to being just vulnerable. Okay, so at, at vulnerable, the kinesis test is successful. You've got him floating in the air, at least until it's his turn. Uh, so we'll count that. We'll count his condition now as very vulnerable since he's floating. Okay, Talmar's multi-action is to... And I think that maintains as long as I have concentration. He gets to fight it if he wants, yeah, but, but yeah. I'm, yeah, but we're going to let him, like, it, we're going to treat it like a grapple where he can try to get out of it in his turn. I'm going to do a strength bless and then throw a boomerang at him. Okay. Because I don't want to move. So I'll roll the faith for the bless first and then use the same bonus number on the missile weapons. Okay. Okay, so that's a plus one to strength for everyone within five meters for the next minute. Yeah. Now on the boomerang, if on the boomerang test, if you roll the boomerang and also if you target Trekker then it should take into account a few more of the the uh, the bonuses. Okay, but it should be the same bonus number from the as the faith test. So I, yeah, you get missed I, anyway. I don't see the boomerang test. He did a multi action. There it is. So ignore the bonus. So it would have just been a skill value ten plus zero minus two for the multi-action so the boomerang zooms out doesn't hit and comes okay. back okay uh, anybody that's relevant has got a plus one strength um okay. i'm not sure if that stacks on top of a cold tech so Well, you guys seem to have him covered. I'm going to go after the other baboon in case it wants to run and get help. Okay. So Fyodor goes over here. He's going to intimidate it and smash it with his hammer. So um, how do we do the multi-action? I'm going to roll the intimidate, and then we'll apply okay. that bonus to the melee weapons. Okay. So here we go. That's a 13 versus his... Well, so you got a multi-action, so it'll be an 11... And he's got uh, minus that, yeah, eleven. It's got an intimidation of twelve. Uh okay. Um, I want to play a card on that. I don't have a card I can play on that. Okay, so that part doesn't work. What about the melee weapons? So my melee weapon skill is ten. And I rolled a bonus of two, minus two for the multi-action. So that's a 10 to hit his dex. Probably and, misses. Yeah, and that also is going to miss. Oh, well. Do I have just the one possibility? Yeah, I'm not going to spend that. That's it. Okay. So Vladalina will leap forward uh, straight at him at the last minute, you know, with a burst of... Uh, backward pressure, I guess, from her wings, kick up a lot of dust in his face to maneuver him. Okay. Uh, hopefully setting him up for, he's already, yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, here. Oh, let's move oh. He is, he is uh, very vulnerable, so that's going to get you to a 13. 13. Uh, which uh, is still four points short on his maneuver. Yeah, I would, uh, you know, let's, uh, well, whatever. I'm going to spend a possibility just for fun, which will get, so that'll get a tw to a 20, is that right? That's right. And so now on uh, maneuver, that, that does get you uh, a good result. All right, let us also, he's currently very vulnerable, is that correct? Yes. So we will stymie him then. Okay. And that is it. All right. Okay. 
So Trekker's currently very vulnerable and stymied or very stymied? He is very vulnerable and stymied. Okay. Then I will try to intimidate both Trekker and his last baboon. That is a crappy roll. That is not worth trying to do anything with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, even with uh, his very vulnerable state, that's not going to work for you. Yeah, I need to roll more than a two. <laughs> okay, Crimson concentrates on a spell and attacks Tracker. I'm going to spend my hero on that. Okay. So All right, so with a now. knight, you're now up to like a 23 with his very vulnerable <laughs> status. And uh, that will, that's not quite, that's a good result. You need two more points to get to an outstanding result. That's okay. Let's get a bonus die because of the cosm card, or was it only for the one who played it? So damage is 21. Okay. That is going to be. That's going to be one wound and two shock, which he will attempt to soak. But not successfully. And so he has now taken one wound and two shock. Finally. Oh. And as, as a result of the. As a result of the mishap, he will not be able to attack this round. Um, I suppose my intimidation test should have been favored, but... Uh, yeah, so uh, does that... Do you want to go no. ahead He's also roll? still levitating, isn't he? Yes. And I rolled another two. Oh. <laughs> I'm just meant to be a two. <laughs> I guess so. The ever laws have spoken. Do we want to keep this card? It's a good card. Any multi action. We go first. We get inspired. Yeah, no, we, we've had, we've been very lucky going first for uh, what three rounds now. Yeah. I, yeah, I let's like. keep it. I like keeping this one. Okay. So we still have Vladimir, is that right? Vladimir did the telekinesis. Um, ah, okay. I did the telekinesis to levitate him right at the start. Okay. All right. All right. So then I think we got the villain turn then. So uh, yep. Trekker is he's lost his turn as a result of the mishap. He is just spinning uh, uh, hopelessly in midair right there. Uh, this baboon right here is going to try to attack Fyodor. Okay, bring it on. Don't know if that does anything or not. Probably so, 21. Um, he's, that hits him and his toughness is 16. All right. So we got a total of 12 damage then. Okay, what's that turn into? Uh, what's your toughness? 16. 16 is going to do one shock. Okay, I'll take that. Actually, you don't, because damage is reduced oh, to right. one shock this round. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, it is. I, I missed that, yeah. All right, so you, you, take, can. you take nothing. And I'm going to keep right. that card. All right, we're going to keep the same card. Or... Nope, I would have had to play it last round, and I didn't have it, so... I guess it doesn't work. Uh, you can you can keep the... I already deleted it, but if, you, if you're able to play that card, then we can keep the card from the last round. Yep, that's the plan. Okay. All right, so... Ooh, should I Should I play a master plan right now? It is a very handy thing to have. 
Okay, I'm going to play. Why does it do that? There, reveal card. I'll take that right back. Okay, let me give that to, who am I giving I it to here? You don't know. Which is which player? Nick. Uh, Nick. Nick. There you go. Thank you. Now, I could go fish that out of the discard pile right now, but I think it's you're, what, basically you, you have one less shock. Everybody takes one less shock. Heroes go first. Heroes are inspired. That's my recollection of the card which I think is correct. Yep. That sounds right, yeah. So, uh, heroes uh, have another turn now. Quick question. Okay. These um, baboons, including uh, Trekker, do they have obvious um, metal bits or non-organic bits in them? Oh, yes, for sure. For sure. Any in or around genetically it? altered. That for sure they're cybernetically altered, yes. Okay. Well, in that case, I mean, depending on what other people do, Talmar will more calmly than the last time walk up to Trekker, lay hands on a particular bit that looks cybernetic and hopefully important, and he's going to cast Touch of Time to essentially disintegrate that piece of the cyberware. Okay. But after other people, if other people want to do stuff first. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to lecturing. Oh, if you want to go first, go ahead. Um, no, go ahead. I'll try to keep lecturing the baboons and try to intimidate them both again. That is much better. Okay. Yeah. So uh, twenty. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty is going to. For sure, do uh, very vulnerable. Uh, yeah, very vulnerable on. All right, do you want stymied or vulnerable on the the uh, regular baboon? Um, we'll make the regular baboon very vulnerable. I'm sure someone will put it out of its okay. misery. Okay. And then on on Trekker, uh, you're just getting a, a standard, but you can pick between vulnerable or stymied. This is his vulnerable from before should have worn off by now, I think. I'm sorry, yeah. just make him vulnerable again. Okay, there we go. Yoda will move here to definitively block the exit for that guy. Well, and, I've all, uh, also, I also have him still levitated. I thought the other one was levitated. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm blocking the, off the one that's levitated. Yeah, I'm blocking. I'm blocking off the baboon goal so it doesn't run and get help. And it's okay. multi-action is approved, right? Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to do uh, an intimidation and then smash him with my hammer, even though I know he's already very vulnerable. So let's see, we'll roll, we'll roll the hammer because it's lower and then add one for the intimidate. Uh, this minus two, that's a think, terrible total. I don't think you're going to have to do anything more. Well, okay. Yeah. You've got to get to, uh, you got to get yeah. to 11 and right now you are at six. So you've got, uh, you've got 10 right now. You just need one more point and then that gives you the 20 damage damage. Okay. No cards in pool. So unless somebody has a supporter, that's that. Not for me. All right. So swing and a miss, it looks like. Uh, and I got, yes, another swing and a miss. Okay. Next. Come on, I'll reach out and attempt to touch and cast Touch of Time. Okay. So difficulty of this is the dodge or dexterity. So it's a 14, I think, based on his dodge with the vulnerable, yeah? Uh, uh, yeah, his dodge is 11. 
Oh, okay. I thought it was on Alcoa. Okay, fine. No, I'm sorry. Late. No, I'm wrong about that. I was looking at the wrong one. It is his dodge is 16. So, okay, so I need a 14 because he's vulnerable, right? Yeah. It gives me a 14, but I want to make it a bit better. Oh. So that's a good success so far. I'm going to use the hero card as well. I think that gets you to outstanding. Okay, so I need to roll two bonus die of damage on to touch of time, which is a 14. It's not a weapon, though, so I'm not sure how I'm going to roll that one. Um, I'll just roll the bonus die off of one of my attacks. So that's 22 damage to an important piece of cyberware on him, ignoring armor, as it disintegrates okay. as time takes its toll. Yeah, uh, what you actually disintegrate is the armor, it turns out. Uh, so his toughness is now going to be treated as a 12 instead of a 14. For That's useful. Uh, Rogue Warrior, will strike at him with her wings. So that's a 14, and with the, then with the vulnerability, it's a 16 result against his unarmed combat of 15. So you've got a standard result with 14 damage right now, which would be two, two, uh, two stress, two shock. Two shock. All right, I'm going to actually bump that up with the possibility. All right, so now we have a 21, 23 against... Is unarmed combat of 15, which means you can roll a BD if you want. I do. Oh, that's nice. a nice one. All right. So, so 24. 24. 24 against 12 is two more wounds and six shock. Which is not enough to take him out. He's going to, well, wait a minute. Let's, let's see. He's going to go ahead and try to soak that too. Okay. Which he does. He does soak all of that. He has no longer has any possibilities now. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm going to discard this for um, <laughs> a possibility. Best time to play Nemesis is when they're going down the drain anyway. I think I should play it. All right, I'll play it. It's actually in my pool, so we'll, well play. It'll, it's not a good idea to play it right now because it'll give him a, a bunch of possibilities. Give him more possibilities. Yeah, we're on the Yeah, all right. I'll take the one possibility and discard. Because he's not that hurt. He's just out of possibilities and about to start getting hammered. Yeah. Draw. Yeah, so I'm discarding and drawing. And taking the uh, possibility. Draw. So, time to finish him off. If you can, give it a Please shot. Uh, concentrate and attack again. Which is a 12 plus drama. 25. All right, and let's see. Oh, we're just going to 28. And then with these vulnerable, that's to a 30, which is an outstanding result. So you can go ahead Enough and. Enough 53. <laughs> Another, oh wow you got a hero card no <laughs> alas it's two totals of 53 we've had so far yeah it's crazy so as you've got an outstanding result so you've got two bonus die to your 19 damage 28 I don't have a button for the bonus die. 
Ooh, okay. Um, can you roll? A, you don't have like a sword or anything like that? No, I couldn't enter any gear. Okay, and so you just rolled 2d6. Okay, and what we got on that was... How did... A nine. How does that break down? Oh, well. We got a nine, so it's going to be... I, I was, Four plus five. And is there still another bonus die from that? Yeah. Old card? So it was a five and a four. If you click on it, it'll yeah. reveal. I, I can see it now. I didn't have my chat scroll down far enough. Okay, so that's going to be a total of 28 damage. Is that right? Yes. I think there's a, another bonus die, too, from the, the old Cosm card. Oh, that that's right. So you could you can roll another one. And yeah, that's that is going to be enough to take out Trekker. Hooray! Teamwork. And that will take us out of combat. It's one battle. All right. So that we, we, we can't sneak. With with all of them cleared out now, um, you have successfully finished. Uh, going back to the long form uh, dramatic scene resolution, you've successfully finished step A. All right, I haven't done anything this round except hold. Except what? Oh, I was wondering about that one last baboon. Oh, that's right. There is a baboon that's left up there. Um, so yeah, you Poor can baboon. go ahead. You can go ahead. Yeah, you can take your turn. Sorry, my boy. I'm just going to move. Do I have a clear shot? Uh, you do, but he's engaged with uh, with uh, Fjordor, so you could hit him. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm going to go and do the same trick and levitate this guy. So okay. Fjordor can just go to town. Okay. Okay. Right, and his strength is nine, so that is enough to to uh, successfully levitate him with a gra uh, levitation grapple. Okay. Right, are we ready for the next turn now? I think so. All right, here we go. All right, so finally. I know, please. So everybody's going to be fatigued. You're going to take two sh uh, yep. shock. And and then the baboon. I believe is, so. The a baboon is going to take a fear test. Which he fails. Which will make him stymied. And now he is going to try to get loose of the grapple, and then he's going to try to run off down the hallway if he can get loose. So we got a, the, the total on that was a 12. So he is going to have to overcome that, which he does not. And it's now the hero's turn. Well, I guess I'll try to hit him again. Don't feel it, you can do it. Straight up, yeah, seriously. I don't know if I've connected okay. properly. So there is... Um, I think he just connected. Yeah. 14, yeah. Yeah, I think he's crunched. Okay. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. That will do it. Cool. All right, so now we are outside of combat, and now I'm going to draw for the second round of the long-form dramatic skill resolution. Okay. which is step B, uh, which I'll explain to you here in a second. You do have an opportunity to complete step B right here. Um, as you make your way down the hallways, 
uh, further down the hallways, you discover this uh, sort of narrow passageway that's filled with gouts of steam that are just pressing out on you everywhere. And you're going to have to figure out some way to get around that. Now, there's several possible solutions, um, but I'll let you all sort of explore those solutions yourself and then decide on what kind of test you want to, to make. If, if, if nothing else, though, you can each make a standard maneuver test to try to get through. You'll take damage, but you will complete the step either way. It seems like really uh, is it filling the entire corridor, or is it jet uh, head yeah, level or mid level, or you you just have jets that kind of spew out every once in a while. Want to spoil the fun? So, portal anyone? Portal anyone? Uh, he's are you're offering to make a Wait, portal? Wait, uh, I guess that would be great. Okay, so I set up a portal and we teleport bypasses. Okay, so I, I think you do have to roll at which you do successfully. So, um, so yes, that will if successfully complete step B. Great. Yeah. So I'm also going to take the chance to stop and console Annika, who is probably shaken after witnessing the brutality of the combat. Okay. And uh, we'll throw a romance card out. Cool. All right. Very good. Then is anyone very low on possibilities? Yes. You take zero. Yeah. So. yeah. Who has zero? I'm pretty sure I do. Let me double check. Did tell Ma and from the side, was that Fyodor on zero? Oh, no. I, th I think I've got. No, I spent three, didn't I? Did you get? Afraid. Did you take one when the get one back card got played? Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, so I've got one. Okay, um, so it sounds like uh, Talmar is in need of some, so I'll also play a transfer and give you two possibilities. Thank you very much. So, who who did you give them to? Uh, Talmar. Talmar. Ah, okay. Oh, nice. Okay, if we are in so you, you have success. You've successfully passed through the portal that has brought you out on the other side of the steam, and you now find yourself. Uh, we're, we're in our third round, and you find yourself standing at the edge of a room where there is. Uh, putting the third card at for the third round card out here. Um, you find yourself standing at the edge of a room where you can see a briefcase at the other end of the room. It's got a Delphi uh, symbol on the outside of it. And Anika uh, points at it like, this is what we need right here. This is where I hit it. You can see that there's these crab-like creatures, repair drones that are kind of moving through the room. Uh, they're just trying to pull at it somewhat unsuccessfully they haven't been able to move it yet but they just keep sort of trying to do it um you, anyone can attempt a standard maneuver test to try to pull the the it's it's stuck in a ventilation shaft that's where she put it anybody can try a standard maneuver to get around the crabs and repair drones to pull the briefcase out or i can just use telekinesis and pull it towards me yes you can do that all yes, right that's standard, what i'm gonna do standard telekinesis test will do that so you're two <laughs> points short of being successful uh i will play with the supporter card all right So with that, we are now left to step D, which involves trying to sneak out of the facility <laughs> without being detected. 
Um, we don't draw a, 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 a D option here, so unless you want to do a final all out, but in this case, that you've you've managed to to reduce their forces pretty substantially in that first encounter. So this is actually going to be a stealth test that everyone will need to attempt, but it's going to be a very easy one. It's going to be a difficulty six stealth test that everybody will eventually need to pass. But you can't do it this round. Um, you, I, you, you can attempt. I've got to initiative. Oh, we'll, okay. We'll, yes, if you we'll, want to play the season yeah. initiative, you can have back the one that allowed for a step D, and you can go ahead and attempt the stealth okay. test. Sure. And remember your uh, stealth favor. Play master plan to get season initiative. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I shouldn't discard it. <laughs> uh oh. I think our. Uh, did you discard it already? No, I I didn't. So I just okay. drag it onto the desk. Uh, there you go. Okay. That's to Talma. Okay, so we've got, so far we've got uh, one successful stealth test. Everybody else needs to make one. Difficulty is six on this one. Just. Uh-oh. I win. <laughs> I've got adrenaline. I'll play adrenaline. All right, so the adrenaline gets uh, Fyodor out, but we've got a problem with, uh, looks like... Max. Oh, he's, Max. he's love struck, so he's not paying attention. Yep. Can we assist him? So he's got a... He, he has got, a mishap. He's, he's rolled a mishap, so uh, the first thing we need to do probably is deal with the disconnect. Because yeah, you did roll a I, one on that. But I'm in a... This is mixed me oh, zone. So I, I, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's a mixed zone and you're, you're mixed with core earth. So you don't have to worry about the disconnect. Never mind. Sorry about that. Would an alertness card help here? Yes, we'll allow an alertness card to get him on out of there along with everybody else. Correct. Right. <laughs> so, uh, Vladalina grabs your hand and, and drags you quietly forward. No, no, pay attention to me right now. <laughs> oh, yes, sorry. <laughs> so you now find right. yourselves back out of the labyrinth, uh, standing out uh, in the air. Uh, the sun is beginning to set, and it's more and more shadows are growing all around you right now. That's bad. How how far till our ext extraction point? Uh, well, it's going to be a long drive, but to get to your uh, vehicle, you can you can be there in a matter of a minute or two. Uh, <clears throat> Are we out of combat just at the moment? Oh yeah, you're you're out of combat, and you've successfully completed the dramatic skill resolution. Well, um, okay, I want to ask like Annika. Can we ask Annika to use her abilities to see if there's anyone else in the area? Any like uh, sentient minds? Sure. Well, that's going on. Any of you fine warrior types want a coup de gras card? Cool. If nobody else wants it. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go for it. All right. So, so Anika. Anika what do closes. You, I've got a... She closes her eyes for a moment and says, uh, "No, I think we're safe to leave." I'll take whatever. So I'll figure out what to do with it. All I've got is a connection. That's fine. So who's it going to? Uh, to you. No, it's going to you. To Warren? To Warren? Is that it? Yeah, I just gave you the coup de grace. Okay. Oh, and yeah, Z Warren. Yes. Yes. There you go. Thank you. Yay, coup de grace. So Anika gives you the all clear. She says, I'm not sensing anyone else right now. Cool. 
we should head to All the right, vehicle. Let's take a break for the vehicle. All right, let's go. Uh, do, when do we refill our hands, card hands? Uh, we're still in uh, the the scene, the same scene that we had before, but we're we about are, to okay. end, we're about to end the adventure, so you won't need to do that. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so you managed to make your way to the vehicle and drive to the extraction point without much trouble. Uh, Anika uh, comments while she's just kind of uh, sitting there, uh, kind of scratching Gregor behind the ears. She comments that she thinks when you took Trekker out, that just kind of caused the rest of them to scatter uh, because she's not sensed any of them around for a long time. <clears throat> and then uh, a few days later, you're, you've gone from the extraction point to a safe point that uh, is in a, actually in a core earth area. And uh, Anika thanks you very much for your assistance. She's been meeting with people from Delphi. They've been assessing her. She's, she says she hopes to someday go back out into the field as a storm knight. And maybe she can have some adventures with you. Yay. And I look forward to